Kidding and kids. A goat's gestation period is 150 days, but your goat, of course, will not necessarily know this, so be prepared for some variations. You will want to provide a clean kidding pen. Give the pen a good scrub and disinfect it about two weeks before the kids are due and put down fresh bedding. You may also want to place a box into which you can put the first kid when the dam gets on with producing it and before the second is born. The kids may or may not decide to use the box as a bed in the future. Keep an eye on her once her due date approaches and expect to see one or more of the following. Her udder will begin to fill. She'll become restless. The pin bones will start to drop and this will result in the tail appearing to ridge up and there may be a discharge from the vulva. When she is very close, within a few hours, you will probably see her pawing at the bedding and seeming unable to get comfortable. Most goats manage to kid with no trouble, but it is as well to be on hand in case of difficulties. Many goats have more than one kid. You may need to keep an eye on the firstborn while she gets on with producing the next one. You should make sure that the kid's airways are clear. The kid often gives a healthy sneeze when first born and then make sure that it is warm and dry. Make sure that the kid has had a good drink of colostrum, which is the first milk produced following the kidding, and it is able to suck properly. You may want to have a bottle and a teat handy, especially if you intend to bottle feed the kids at a later date. Then check the kids over for possible faults. Provided that your female had a booster injection against clostidial diseases, her kids will be protected for the first few weeks of life. They will need injections themselves in a couple of months. You need to consider the matter of horns. We advise not keeping horned and hornless goats together. In Britain it is a legal requirement that any disbudding is done by a vet. Please resist the temptation to keep male kids unless you know what their future is to be. There is nothing wrong with giving a male kid a short, happy life before it is slaughtered for food. The demand for stud males is limited and depends on having an excellent pedigree, including that of its mother. <laughs>